Whitefish Will Rides Again by Arthur Yorinks and Mort Drucker, Harper Collins Publishers, read by Mrs. Clark. Who's Whitefish Will? Why, he's just about the best dang sheriff that ever lived, that's who. I tell you, Whitefish Will had the strength of forty mules, maybe fifty. Shoo, just one peep at Will, and even the nastiest varmint scrammed. Looky here now, it's true. When Jesse James spotted Will's muscles, he shot back to Butte faster than a bee-stung billy goat. What a sheriff. What a man. Dash dang dingle darn it. Will was so good at wrestling rustlers that soon there were no more rustlers left to wrestle. So the townsfolk, grateful as they were, and cheap, put poor whitefish out to pasture. Heck, what's an unemployed sheriff supposed to do all day? Well, Will wandered, raised roosters, rode in the rodeo. Finally, in his golden years, at his lovely Rio Rancho in the hills, Whitefish Will took up the harmonica. <laughs> What a ruckus! Worse than a bobcat caught on a cactus. Yup, coyotes learned how to howl just to drown out that stinkweed serenade. But did Whitefish care? <laughs> Mighty dog, no. He sure loved playing that thing. Meanwhile, back in town, life was plain and peaceful and ripe. Ripe for Bart. That is, oh, was Bart bad? Who we bad? He was a troublemaking son of a gunmaker, a pistol packing pickpocket, a big bully bank robber. Bart was so mean, rattlesnakes would line up and try to kiss his feet. I mean, he was mean. Anyways, one day, Bart and his gang of horse thieves rode into town and stole everyone's horse. Just try and stop me, you yellow belly cowards, Bart barked. But who wanted trouble? Go ahead, take the horses, said the barber. We'll walk. Bart was furious. They don't mind walking, eh? Well, let's just see if they mind being broke. Boys, go rob the bank. Bart's gang stormed the bank. Here, fellas, enjoy, said the teller. If you got your health, who needs money? Bart went plumb loco. I'll show this town a thing or two. He ordered his bandoleros to steal everyone's clothes. <laughs> That'll teach him, he snickered. <laughs> Whoa, doggy, was he wrong? The townsfolk just took to wearing barrels. Nice breeze, said the tailor. Ain't one size fits all. Bart was busting. All right, he hollered. No more Mr. Nice Bandito. I'm setting fire to this whole tin horn town. What? Not our precious town, said the school teacher. We just had it painted, said the blacksmith. Help, cried the mayor. That's when little Frankie said, Let's get Whitefish Wheel. Whitefish who? said the mayor. Shucks, no one but little Frankie could recollect the best danged sheriff that ever lived. So Frankie took off for the hills, and before you could eat a plate of petite peas, there was Will ambling down Main Street. Bart, Will said, by the time I count to three, I want you 
and your Weasley Weevils out of this town. You hear? Bart was he hawing. <laughs> hey, old geezer, who do you think you are? <laughs> the sheriff? One, Will counted. Hot diggity, Bart was in stitches. Two, I'm warning you. Bart was shrieking like a happy hyena. Three. <laughs> okay, that's it, Bart sneered. This shindig is finito. Now reach for it. Bart went for his pistol. But Whitefish Will, that gutsy hombre, whipped out his harmonica and struck up a rip roaring O Susanna. Yay, 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 Bart cried. Have mercy, I beg you. But Will kept right on playing louder and louder till Bart and his gang hightailed it out of town. Yes, em, those ugly, ornery outlaws were gone for good. As for Will, well, he got his old job back. And you could bet your britches the West was safe for honest folks once more. Especially if you had yourself a decent pair of earplugs.